Hey, welcome to Bikes, Boats, and Bivouacs. I'm headed to Sun Retreats Lancaster, previously known as Lake and Woods Campground. I'm gonna grab a little homemade chicken noodle soup from Mr. Tim. Let's go over there and see what's changed. So I made it to Sun Retreats, Lancaster, AKA the old Lake and Woods campground. It does look very similar. The amenities, although they've changed the name, look very similar. And here we see Mr. Tim coming up here in the golf cart, making a turn right now. This is my taxi ride. Gotta get my chair out of the truck. What's happening, Mr. Tim? Yeah, I heard there was some homemade chicken noodle soup here. Yep. We do have golf cart rentals. Yep. This restaurant used to be known for their fantastic burgers. It's now called the Getaway Cafe. There's a nice playground. Changed a little bit. The signage is all new. Yeah, they all. Give me a dollar. There's a lake down there. We did a little fishing there when last time we were here. Several permanent sites in here. It's a pretty drive. It kind of reminds you a little bit of a state park with all the trees. You can see most of the roads are paved. Site 117. Mr. 10. So this is site 117. You can see they have a concrete pad and then a nice little fire ring there and an outcropping. And then trees in the back of the site. So it really does look a bit like a state park. Let's check it out. And then here is Audrey and Stefan's site. This big site. Yeah, that's a nice pull through. That used to be a pull through. Another Jayco. Yeah, that looks just like my camper. Old sites. They were expensive before, but not no more. No. Well, they're because everybody has the same thing. Now. When they first came out, they put these pads in like this. Yeah. There's a permanent. That's for sale. Seventy-seven. Seventy. 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 That's good. That's a good spot too. There's a Sheldy. Hi, Sheldy. Brotherhood Circle. 
And remember this. Yeah, and there's the old caboose. And rent the caboose. Wasn't there a teepee or something? Yeah, the wigwam back there. Oh. Playground was well maintained, Tim, you know. One of them. Yeah. We got some volleyball over there. Yeah, uh, music in the pavilion. Got the music yesterday. Too. No, I just want to. I just want to take a look at some. So you can see they're naming these the same way Disney does. It's a comfort station. This is comfort station number three. And here you can see. Very clean bathrooms. More of this. And shower. And stainless steel sinks. Very clean and they have a number of these. This is unit number three. You notice this is a dump station. Then they have air there and the light for the evening. So very convenient if you're in a site without sewer. So your site's full hookup right here. Yeah. Most of them are. It's just a tent site, I think. Yeah. So most of them are full hookup, but there are a few that are not. Yeah, 54 is a so There was my old site. That would be pretty nice. Yeah, view this one, this one. No, it was... Oh, you know, it might have been. It might have been. Yeah, 155. Could have been it. So it is a rather large campground. Lots of different sites. There's an empty one to check out. It is really a nice campground. A lot of activities. Yeah, I remember this section. You're right down over here. Wildlife. A little cove to fish right here. A nice picnic table to set up your your lunch and toss your line in the water. Of course, that yurt is for rent over there. If you want to rent that, you can. Yeah, I probably sleep a ton of people. I figured that. I'm glad he didn't sell it. I know you said you wanted to buy one last year, and then, uh, then when I brought it back from. I mean, the golf is nice. I want to give you some thoughts on Sun Retreats, Lancaster County, AKA the old Lake and Woods campground. And if you want to see a full review of the campground, I'll leak that in right here. So uh, the signage is new. The amenities appear to be the same. When I checked on the cost, the sites range from 66 up to $99. So they were reasonable. Now that was not a holiday weekend uh, when I checked those rates. But really nice. Uh, 
They do have a recreation hall and a lot of activities, indoor and outdoor, uh, for the guests. So uh, they keep you busy at this location. They do have golf cart rentals. Uh, you know, as, as I'm dealing with my back issues, that's becoming more and more appealing than riding the bicycle around a campground. So uh, probably gonna head down there next year and take advantage of that. They still have their cafe for on-site food. I think it's open Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Thursday, it opens for dinner. And then Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, it's open for breakfast through dinner. Uh, so it was nice to see that they kept the restaurant. And they have cheesesteaks and hamburgers and chicken fingers, that kind of stuff. And they also have uh, breakfast there uh, in the mornings. So you can get something to eat if you want to. Uh, there's multiple playgrounds there, so if you have little kids, this is a great spot for you. Um, and they're well maintained. Uh, everything is in tip top shape. So we did like that. It kind of feels like a state park. Uh, they're mostly wooded sites down in the lower section. They do have uh, some sites that are relatively open. There's a few trees there, but they're pull throughs in the center on the way down to the lake. So you can get a more open site if you want. Uh, but it does feel like a state park. It's, it's really a nice treed location. So we do like that. And there's lots of different types of sites. So they have sites with concrete pads and gravel sites. They do have some tent sites. If you're tent camping that are specific for that and pop-ups. Uh, so a, a really nice variety and it is a large campground. So there's plenty of different places where you can uh, dock your camper. It is a pet friendly campground. So you saw in the video, there was a Sheldie there on the golf cart and uh, everybody really takes their dogs there. Uh, there are some permanent sites and the one we drove by was for sale for $77,000 plus you would pay a lot rent. Uh, so if that's something you're interested in, it's something you can do at a Sun Outdoor Resort. They also, if you, if you don't have a camper, you can stay in a cabin or a cottage, and they also have a caboose you can rent and a teepee. So uh, there's lots of different types of experiences you could get uh, at this place. And if you were thinking about having some kind of a family reunion, right, there's, there is uh, housing for everybody. So those that don't have campers could choose one of the uh, roofed accommodations and those that have campers could take their campers there. So I thought that might be a, a really good place to have uh, an event. There are dump stations there. You saw that in the video, but they also have air at the one dump station. So you can uh, fill up your tires if need be. Uh, and the lake is beautiful. It's a large lake uh, that you can fish on. And then they have rentals. You can rent uh, paddle boats and that kind of stuff. And I think there were some paddle boards down there also. Uh, so you can get on the water there and enjoy uh, lake activities. And they at the one section, there's like a little peninsula and uh, they have picnic tables there. So you could be fishing and use that kind of like as your home base for the day if you're using the boats and, you know, and have some people fishing and you're cooking burgers and dogs on the grill. So that was really nice to see. Mini golf is uh, a really nice course there. And the whole place is really well manicured. Uh, so, you know, it's, it's maintained properly. It's, it's not, uh, you know, it's not in, in decay. It is really well maintained. I'm really pleased to see that. The pool is unique in that Part of it is inside and part of it's outside. And then they have like a splash pad area uh, that goes right up to where the food is. So uh, that complex where the restaurant is and the pools are is really a neat, a neat spot. You can spend a lot of time there. And I know right now it's in the 90s with 70% uh, humidity up here. So people will enjoy the unique pool and splash pad that they have there. They also have court games. Uh, there's a shuffleboard area there, and also they have a basketball court. Uh, and then in the circles, the friendship circle, and there's another one, can't remember the name of it, 
Uh, but they have volleyball and open fields where you can play softball or kick, kick the can or something like that. Uh, so there is a really a lot to do there. And uh, in the area are all the Lancaster attractions. So uh, Shady Maple is nearby for the famous buffet if you wanted to do that. So there's plenty to do outside of the campground or the RV resort, but I can tell you there's no reason to leave that place. There is plenty to do right there uh, that you'll be able to have just a really great time. So this is one, um, when I stayed there the first time I had the KZ-180TH, uh, so I haven't had the uh, Jayco down there yet, but uh, this visit has convinced me to go back down there and uh, spend some time there because it is such a nice place and the prices aren't that bad so for for an rv resort with all the amenities it seems like a fair value uh, so we're going to definitely check it out hey if this video helped you consider subscribing to the channel it's free it helps me out a lot also ring that bell you'll be notified every time i put up the video and give the video a thumbs up that helps it be seen by a wider audience but more important than all that Go have some fun out there. Hey, thanks for watching.